Hey there Titans! In this video I'll show you how to use the auto submit via API with form Titan. So let me show you first what it does and then we'll see how we can get it done. So I'm heading over to uh, some website, an example website, and I'll paste, I'll put in some contact information. And What our form will do now, once I post it, I'm sending I'm sending this information to the to the form Titan API to my form, and what this form will do is it will look up the email, and if the email exists under a contact, then it will create a case for the contact. If not, it will create a new lead. So let's send this message and head to our integration logs. I'll refresh this, it will come in just in just a minute. And there we have it. So we have our lead created. Let's take a look at the lead. See the details. So we have hello, hello, and our email, hey at hey.com. We have our subject and our message. Now let's send um an existing contact email. Let's head over to contacts. Let's take a rose. Let's see our details and grab that email. Head back to our site. Fill in a new form. And a message and we will send over the message. Now what it needs to do is since we our email exists what it will need what it does it will create a case for that contact. So let's see how we did. Let's refresh our form. And there we have it we have a case created and the case should be under rows so we can see our case uh, contact is rows and we have the case subject and the description mapped to our message. Now let's see how we can get this done. So we'll head back to our form and we can see that we have some hiddens here and we have a hidden for the contact ID. So let's first take a look at our get. So our get is very simple it says find a contact where the email of the contact equals our email here, this hidden field, and we're mapping the contact ID to our hidden contact ID. So that's our get, and let's take a look at our push. We have two different pushes, one for lead, one for case, and we have a rule condition that says if the contact ID is empty, then create a lead, and we map the lead fields, we map some fields, and the other push is for the case, it's the exact opposite rule. If the contact ID is not empty, then create a case. Let's see the our mapped field, so we mapped some fields for the case as well. Now, for the API integration, what you gotta have is a few things. The first thing you gotta do is grab your form ID. So that's under form settings, general, and your form ID is right here. The other thing you got to do is head over to unsubmit and allow auto submit from your to your form and give it a submit key. The third thing is you got to enable an API API calls for your account. So you head over to my account API, allow API access, allow submission, and grab your API key. Now let's head over to our code. This is a, some uh, PHP code. So we have here the name, email, subject, message from our um, post, from our form. And we're, we're, our URL is the following URL is your subdomain and then API version 1, submission, submit, and our form ID. We'll have a detailed description of this code in our post. And our, um, we're posting, it's a, it's, a, it's a post method and then the other thing we have to do is pass in our fields. So the way that we pass in our fields, if we'll head back to our form, 
every hidden field has a key. So this the name is FLD22, email 23, um, the subject 24, and the message 25. So we're passing in FLD22 is name, 23 email, 24 subject, and 25 is our message. And then we're posting the information to Form Titan. And from there, Form Titan will auto submit your your form, and then it will grab our in in our instance. You can do anything with it. You can create or look up any object you like. It will get our contact if it exists, and it will create a case. If not, then it will create a lead. And this is how it's done.